Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we have our monthly real estate market update for Boise, Idaho, where I'm gonna be discussing some numbers that came out here recently. We'll be going over what's going on with interest rates and what's to come in 2024. So let's get into it. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, my name is Mike. I'm a realtor here in Boise with Idaho Signature Realty, powered by Homes of Idaho. And on this channel, um, I try to provide information about what's going on with the real estate market here in the Treasure Valley. We'll also tour some really nice homes. In today's video though, we have our real estate market update. These sales numbers are gonna be from November with real estate the way it works is uh, we get our numbers the following month, about mid month the following month. Um, so we are a little late on these, but we have December numbers coming out here shortly. So I wanted to go over these. And I also wanna talk about what's going on with the interest rates and what I see 2024 bringing us in regards to the real estate market. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So you will see we had 523 homes sold for the month of November. That is a 5% decrease year over year, year to date in 2023. And this was back when the end of November, we had 6,942 homes sold. That is a almost 14% decrease from November of 2022. Moving down, we have our median sales price at 398.99. That's also down 4% year over year. I also have a little um, note in here, New construction and resale back in 2022 had a price gap difference of about 120,000. Now that price gap difference is down to just 31,000. Go back up to the top of our screen here. We have days on market, 42 days. So um, for single family homes, this fell slightly by four days. So it was 46 days. So homes are selling a little bit faster. Um, and we noticed homes priced um, less than 500 typically spent 13 days fewer on market. Um, and that's pretty common. I mean, you get into higher price ranges. Those homes tend to sit on the market a little bit longer. Here in the Valley, we kind of have a bubble. Um, anything about 725, 750 up to about nine seems to really be sitting on the market for quite a long time. Current month supply of inventory, we have 2.2 months. What this means is basically if no other homes were listed, we would have 2.2 months before we sold out of all of our inventory. Now, typically a balanced market is gonna be about six months. Um, anything under six months, you're gonna have what they consider a seller's market. Anything over six months is what they're gonna consider a buyer's market. Let's talk about interest rates. So interest rates starting end of October, beginning of November started to kind of fluctuate. We saw some dips and then they go back up. At our high, we're at about an 8%. As we went through November and December, we started to see interest rates consistently come down. Now I'm seeing interest rates in the mid sixes, 6.3, 6.5%. The Fed has come out and said that moving into 2024, we can expect more uh, reductions when it comes to the interest rate. So what does that mean as we move into 2024? Well, as interest rates t come down historically, that makes home values increase. We've had a lot of buyers on the fence or even pushed out of the market due to the high interest rates. So I feel like once the interest rates start to come down, especially once we start getting into the lower sixes, it's gonna bring a lot of buyers onto the market, creating more competition. We're already seeing multiple offers depending on the price range, but I think we're gonna to start to see multiple offers plus bidding war as far as increasing that list price. So my predictions, and I'll kind of look at it from a, if I was buying and or selling perspective. So let's just start, from a buyer's perspective, if I was looking to buy in 2024, I was pre-approved, ready to go, I would probably try to buy within the first quarter. The reason for that is yes, interest rates have come down, but the market hasn't been adjusted yet to those lower interest rates. So we, we haven't seen the influx of buyers yet, although my phone has started to ring a bit more um, the last couple of weeks of December and the first week of January here. And so prices are still holding, interest rates are down, competition's low, builders are still offering incentives and sellers are still offering concessions to buyers as well. Where I feel like if you wait until quarter two, quarter three, um, the more heavy selling months of the year, you're gonna have a lot more competition. Even though interest rates are gonna be down, you're um, home prices will probably go up would be my anticipation um, and more competition. I think quarter one is going to be a great quarter for buyers. Quarter two and three, I think is going to be a better time for sellers to list their homes. And because interest rates will have come down by then, I think it's going to force 
more sellers on the market than we have had the last couple of years because those interest rates have been so high. And I think they're gonna get more, more bang for their buck um, as far as, or I'm sorry, they're not gonna get more bang for their buck, but I think they're gonna get more for the, the sell of their home if they end up waiting a little bit longer. That's my quick synopsis of, of kind of what's been going on in the last couple months in the market, what I think is gonna happen in 2024. These numbers are for Ada County, which is where Boise resides in. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the area or new to the area, but also if you guys are interested in um, other counties or other cities numbers and, and, and would like some more information on their market or what's going on, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to know what you guys think about 2024. If you guys are planning on getting into the market, whether that's buying or selling, I'd love to hear about it. Also check the description. I'm gonna leave one of my guides down there, either a buyer or seller guide. Yeah, I hope this is uh, helpful to you guys. Again, if you have any questions, want more information, please feel free to reach out. If you guys uh, like this video or got anything out of it, please like, share, subscribe. That definitely helps out. And um, thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.